Folks, it's Natway from Red Fox Property Group and no, I'm not in tropical Queensland. I'm at 2 Oxford Street in Mayland, right smack bang on the Inglewood border. The top three things we love about this property and there's a lot to love. The first is it's a beautifully renovated and extended character home. That's right, you probably weren't expecting that either given the tropical gardens. But it is a gorgeous renovated and extended character home with a very flexible floor plan with lots of potential. Number two is that it is elevated and right on that Inglewood border. So we're literally on the mainland side of Oxford Street. The other side of the road is in fact Inglewood and you've got a beautiful outlook over the Inglewood um, roof and treetops. And number three has got to be that it is sitting on a full, that's right, a full 703 square metre green tidal block. You are getting a huge amount of bang for your buck with this one. Let's go and have a look around. There is really something to be said about being elevated and perched on the top of the hill. That's the Inglewood clock tower you can see. So you've got the view over the rooftops and the treetops of Inglewood towards the coast. So you're going to get the spectacular sunsets, not to mention the great sea breeze. We'll start outside. We are here on Oxford Street. We've got a nice big double carport here. We've got tiered terrace or terraced gardens. And this is probably the best view that I can show you of the gorgeous character facade. There are stunning lead light windows. You'll be able to check those out at the home open. Obviously the limestone foundation, so the home is raised right up, which I love. The outlook from up there, I'll show you shortly. And we've got the steps leading up to the property. Let's start the tour and it's time to get excited. Polish boards, high ceilings, ornate cornices and all of the character features you'd expect of this era. So this is the first of the bedrooms, absolutely beautiful, lead light windows, stunning, stunning view out there. Um, would have been the original lounge room. So it's got the original ornate brick fireplace. You can see it's got freestanding robes. So you've got a lot of flexibility with how you set it up. There are the original doors, hello, aren't they just gorgeous? And while I'm here, I'll just flick back to the beautiful lead light front door as well. Now which way to go so linen closet is here so that's the original that's there there's more um, bedrooms down that way we'll go there in a sec but I want to show you this room first again it's got the gorgeous um, etched doors as well so this would have probably been maybe a formal dining room in its time but it's currently set up as kind of like a little lounge living space it has also been used as a bedroom so if it was it would be bed four um, but you know either a great study home office or formal lounge so we've got it set up as a sitting room at the moment and you've got the um, beautiful all eight ceiling rows there and the original timber windows but just a gorgeous room and great access into the kitchen if you want a formal dining room you've got one but you do have dining space out the back second of the bedrooms again it's huge split system air con there on the wall gorgeous ornate cornicing the rose and again the lead light windows and that stunning view down to Inglewood and the clock tower plenty of room if you want to put in built-in robes obviously all freshly painted too throughout the home just love it the high ceilings all the character features it's just got such a beautiful feel another set of linen closets so you've got the two storage oh my god in the character home I know um, right, bathroom, really nicely updated. We've got a really great little corner cabinet there, the vanity. I love these big windows all the way through. It really bounces the light around and you can actually, you've got some space to get ready. Um, and you've got the shower over the bath. So if you've got littleies, that is a perfect little tub for them. And tuck behind the door, you've got the loo. Now there is a second bathroom, whoop whoop, and we'll so show you that shortly. Bed three, another great size. We've got a double bed that's got freestanding robes as well. Again, nice cornices, and we've got the beautiful polished boards. 
come through to the kitchen, this has all been redone. We've got reconstituted stone bench tops, we've got some nice overhead cupboards. Um, where the original um, uh, oven would have been has all been cut away and cleared out and raised, so that's really handy. Got a nice big wide fridge recess there. We've got dishwasher, the sink, the oven, the gas cooktop range hood is tucked in there. A nice, um, really nice sunlight that comes through the window. North is kind of off there. The overhead cupboards and the access into that little lounge. And then we come out the back. So this is where everything has been added. Um, and it's actually a really good size and decently done. And when we're outside, you'll see that this is all brick as well. So brick extension, we've got Jarrah floorboards too that have flown flow through, which is great. Um, we've got a very big dining space and a really nice big living space. So this is a very generously proportioned room. So you're getting a sense now, aren't you, of just how flexible that floor plan really is. And then we've got the laundry and second bathroom. So we've got another loo. We've got a shower with a really nice um, semi-frameless shower screen. In fact, totally frameless shower screen and little recess there. And then you've got laundry with even more good storage here. So really terrific in terms of what it offers with the size of the floor plan and the flexibility in terms of how you lay it out. Let's go and have a squeeze to these stunning, beautiful gardens outside. We're outside and let's have a look at these gorgeous gardens. So we've got obviously the entry into the living area. We've got nice covered patio there. The back patio is in okay condition, but that will just be as is in terms of the sale. You've got beautiful tropical style gardens in here. I just love the shade. Um, these plants have been here for a very long while. Love the rustic red brick paving. You can also see too that this is a brick extension on this home, so it's not fibro or weatherboard. You've got amazing mature trees and all of this lush greenery. So the temperature in here is just gorgeous. Um, you're going to be very comfy in here come summer and it's basically created its own little microclimate. So stunning, stunning, stunning plants. Got nice big mature palms there. Um, we've got that's a beautiful native frangipani up there. Um, more palms, lots and lots of greenery, there's bromeliads, there's all sorts of beautiful bits and pieces in the garden. Just stunning. And then you've got all this space out the back that you can still do a lot with. So we've got some old aviaries that are there, they will stay. And you can see all of this room out here. So think, I don't know, pools, think pavilions, think whatever you can squish into this space. I say squish in, it's actually very, very large. Some nice big trees down the back. You have got so much room and space to enjoy. And what a beautiful play space for kids or for babies or just for you to relax and entertain in. Location. Beaufort Street is literally 450 metres in that direction. There you'll hit the social precinct and the plethora of restaurants, cafes, shopping options and local amenities that Inglewood is so popular and famous for. Of course this is also within the Inglewood Primary School zone which is another bonus. In the opposite direction, 1.1 k's away, you're going to find the Maylands train station and all of the social precinct and amenities around there. And you're about 5 k's away from the CBD. What is not to love? Call me now 0405 812 273 for more details or we'll see you at a home open. Have a great weekend. Mm -hmm.